hey, listen, please stop me calling a cute zebra. It's like hating a cool, smart guy, isn't it? Hey, what is up people? This is Divyansh and welcome to my channel Learnium, where we learn and discuss with a lot of fun. Well, right now, if you are wondering that what the rubbish I told you at the beginning of this video, then trust me that from right now, that one statement will be very useful for you. So let's begin the video. Okay, so just for this video, I request all of you to become a teacher right and after this we're gonna do some weird things like completely opposite things so as a teacher our students gonna be metals right and one more condition that you are the teacher who only teaches the popular metals or the popular students like the gold silver or the sodium right so you don't want to teach the weird metals like the strontium cesium cadmium or the titanium well, don't relate that with the movie, right? So, you only teach the popular metals. So, that's what our first condition is. Okay, so now, as a teacher, our job is to classify our students into good students, the mediocre ones and the bad students. Or, good metals, mediocre ones and the bad metals. And when I'm saying that good metals and bad metals, I basically means that the metals who react more or more reactive metal and the least reactive metal. So that's what I mean. So this is our job to separate the metals or our students into good ones and the bad ones, right? So we all gonna do our job honestly. And after this, we got this list, right? But now one more weird thing. Yes. So in this video, instead of a student, a teacher, going to give an exam yes right so you are the teacher and you have to give an exam and in the exam you have to write the name of the students like who are the first rankers and the last rankers and you have to write them in the correct order so that's what our test gonna be but now there is one problem that we can learn the name of our students but we want a long-term memory like we want to remember their names for a longer time so in such case what we can do right so for this we need to use some tricks right so so that's what we are gonna see next okay so now i'm gonna bring the weird statement which i told you at the beginning of this video so that was that please stop calling me a cute zebra it's like hating cool smart guy right so from this what we have to do so first of all let's just write these words right so we have please stop calling me a cute zebra now from this what we have to see so first of all see the first word over there that is please and now after that see the first alphabet which is p right so from p we're gonna get potassium here right so i hope that you got the idea of what we are going to do right so we got the potassium then after that stop s so s so from s we're gonna get sodium then calcium then magnesium so this is how we're gonna continue right so after magnesium we have aluminium and now we have one exception yes so after that we have carbon hey carbon is not a metal it's a non-metal because we have decided to take our student as metals and carbon is not a metal well you have taken it because it's an important or a famous non-metal so just because he is a famous student you have taken that also in your special class right and after that we will take one more non-metal so we will get to that also right so we have carbon and then after that can you guess what we have right please stop calling me a cute and then zebra so from z we have zinc right so we have potassium sodium calcium and magnesium aluminium carbon and zinc right so that was our first few words and now let's change the word here 
so after that we have it's like hating cool smart guy right so now we have i so i so iron from i okay then we have l so we have lead over there then hydrogen then we have cool smart guy yes copper silver and gold and from this there is one interesting thing which is that like when someone got the first prize so we award him with a gold medal right the first prize winner get a gold medal but actually in our list gold and silver are the last two metals right so that is a very interesting thing isn't it by the way after gold we also have platinum over there but as i have told you that we only teach the special students so we don't include the platinum over here and all the things that i am telling you right we have to separate the students into good into bad and we only teach the special students or the popular students well don't try to do this in real life so these things are going to be fine until and unless we are doing that for metals and don't try to do this in our real life or in your real life right so once we are done with that here you can see that on your screen you have a reactivity series which do not contain all the metals but it contain most important ones or the famous ones okay so now let's just get out of the character of a teacher and now as a student i'm going to ask you some questions so you can just relax and you can listen the questions and try to answer them right so let's begin so our first question is that we have zinc and copper and you have to tell me that which of this is more reactive right so think about it think about it recall 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 and do you got the answer well our answer is zinc yes our answer is zinc right so zinc is more reactive than copper you can recall that please stop calling me a cute zebra that z comes before than the copper means that zinc come before than the copper so zinc is more reactive than copper so that was our first question by the way that was an easy question now we will increase the level or the difficulty level okay now our next question is that among these metals which of them should be placed inside the kerosene try to think about it okay so how we can answer such question so you have to think about that why do we need to put something inside an kerosene so the most obvious answer can be that that metal can be very reactive and we cannot uh, simply leave him in the air and the moisture otherwise it will react so that is why we have to think about a very high reactive metal and among this what you can see that sodium is the most reactive metal right so for this our answer is going to be yes sodium right okay so now it's time for our next question and that is going to be even more difficult but you just have to use the simple logic right okay so the question is that a metal z is added to dilute hydrochloric acid and after that there is no evolution of gas so you have to guess the metal z and you also have the options here okay so this seems to be a pretty interesting question isn't it now how we can answer it so we have a metal z we don't know which metal it is then after that it is reacted with hcl dilute hcl and after that there is no evolution of gas okay so let's just take our first metal from the options given here so we have sodium and then it is reacted with hcl so here what you can see so from our reactivity series we know that sodium is more reactive than hydrogen so this sodium will kick out the hydrogen over there and the result we got is going to be sodium chloride plus hydrogen so can you see here that hydrogen gas is getting released well this is also called as single displacement reaction in which a more reactive metal kicks out the less reactive metal 
right so now i hope that it has become very clear to you that what we have to think or how we have to think so we just have to find out that which metal won't be able to kick out the hydrogen or which metal is going to be less reactive than hydrogen well sodium is definitely not the answer here then we have potassium so potassium also kicks out the hydrogen and the zinc also kicks out so after that what is the only left option here yes silver so why silver won't be able to kick out the hydrogen so recall the reactivity series and from there you can see that silver is less reactive than hydrogen and that is why silver won't be able to kick out the hydrogen and therefore there is no evolution of gas right okay so i hope that you understood and liked the trick by the way this trick definitely didn't contain all the metals but it did contain some of the important metals or the famous ones right so i hope that you understood this and if you enjoy learning this way then please do subscribe to my channel and after this i'll meet you in the next video thank you very much for watching